Guys, we have not told you guys something. We've been hiding something for a while from everyone. Yeah, so we've been broken up for about three years now. And um, we haven't been actually dating. We've been faking our way through being a couple and we just can't do it anymore. Yeah, so it's gotten too much for the both of us and it's time that we confess everything that's been going on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, what is up my was gone? Welcome back to our channel guys. If you guys are new, make sure you go hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can notify every single time we post. And join the family. But yes, as you can see, we did break up. What? This is not clickbait. We're gonna do a little overall story. Before we get on to the story, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're following all of our social medias yes. because we're gonna be doing an iPhone giveaway this month. Now, let me tell you, last month we gave away an Apple Watch. All you have to do to be entered into our giveaways from here on forward, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and following both of us on Instagram so we can notify you if you're the winner. We do gotta give our beginning of the video post notification shout, shout out. out. And who does that shout out go to? This shout out goes to Isabel Loveland. So shout out to you, Isabel. Shout out to you, thank you for being on we our channel. Love we love you. you. All right, for, for everybody who Woo. has been waiting for this um, story Waiting time. for this moment. How did we break up? What happened? Who did it? And uh, what did you guys do while, while you were breaking up? So, were you seeing different people? Were you doing stuff with other people? I don't know. We'll have to find out. If you guys want to know, mm. make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Yep, cut. That's the end of the video. See you no, in the next no, video. No, 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 <laughs> no. Anyways, guys. So this breakup was before we started social media. This was like month. Like this was like a couple months before yeah. we started. Before we officially started our YouTube channel. So basically, this was when we worked back at our old grocery store, Mariano's. We, we met at a grocery store. Yes, we, that's met where we, met. Yeah. we met there. We met at a grocery store. It, I was a cashier. Let me not cut you off. If you like story times and if you want a story time on how we met, make sure to go down below and tell us. Yes. But basically, we worked at a grocery store called Mariano's, and you know, we hit it off, and we were like lovey dovey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We started dating March of 2017. Yeah. <laughs> March of 2017, and we broke up at the end of September of 2017. So basically, yeah. what happened was, I'm gonna give my side of the story. Mariah found a better guy, and she. No, like, this was not me. This was him. <laughs> so basically, uh, yeah. um, during September, that whole beginning of the month, you were acting very off. Okay, it's not that I was acting off. It's he just... was not. Uh, he was not like being around me. He'd rather do other things. He was kicking me out of the house because he wanted a video game. I wanted to play video games. Do, blah blah blah. Not That's other not things. I, I didn't want to um, hang out with other girls. I wanted to play video games. That's the only reason why. And I lost interest into the whole relationship thing. No, that's not what happened. He's no, lying. that no, that is no. no. So, listen, listen, Linda. Okay. I lost interest in the whole um, lovey-dovey stuff, and my interest was taken off of my girlfriend, which mm -hmm. was Mariah, um, and. I started focusing on other things. And then you started focusing drifting, on other things. <laughs> so, just so away. you guys know, this is when I started figuring out more and more what he was doing. So, I remember when we were upstairs getting ready for his Halloween party because they go all out for his Halloween parties. They decorate the whole house. Yeah. As you can see, there's a wall mirror right next yeah, to the Yeah, that's still from our last Halloween party. This was in 2017 Halloween party, okay? This is all in 2017. Yes. And I was upstairs and he was doing the wall and he was putting up this wall thing and he was just not talking to me. But there was this one Snapchat that he got <laughs> and it said this girl, let's just name her Allison, okay? So, Allison, Allison. decides to Snapchat her. But Allison's name didn't sound like a girl's name, it also sounded like a guy's name. Just like a guy's let name. me just say this. It sounded more like a guy's name and I didn't assume anything. So I asked <laughs> Bill, I go, oh, who's this Allison girl? This is a guy friend. And Bill goes, oh, it's just one of my I'm guy I'm not friends. a bad guy, okay? I am not a bad guy. I don't sneak around. I don't do anything. I don't cheat. I don't kiss other girls this while dating. This was before he was mature. No, yes. Well, I, okay, you I was- You were a little immature. I was a little immature. You're, you're still a little immature. No, you're a little immature. Girl, he lied to me, and he was talking to this other girl while he was in a relationship with me. It wasn't like that where he was cheating. Yeah, he no, was it just, wasn't like anything. He was just, you know, like talking I didn't and, meet up with her while we were dating. I didn't do anything while we were dating. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah. I remember, it, this was a week late, week later, things were still being weird. I'm like, Bill, like, tell me what's going on. We're, we're in the middle of watching The Walking Dead, and we were sitting down here. That was our show back then. We yeah, it to, was our show back then. We used to love watching The Walking Dead. And we could have finished it, but you broke up with me. So. I still like, mm -hmm. I, I wish we could keep watching that. Anyways. Probably bring up bad memories, huh? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Anyways, so we were sitting down here, and I'm like, Bill was like sitting on the opposite side of the freaking <sighs> room. And I'm just like, Bill, what are you doing? Like, why are you acting like yeah, this? I don't, I'm like, I don't really remember and it. And you're like, most of this, and then you're way. like, you're, I'll, I'll explain it. <laughs> 
basically, there was two bean oh bags down God. here. I was sitting on one, I was sitting on there. I go, I go, Bill, why aren't you like cuddling with me? He goes, I, go, I don't know. I just want to sit over here. And I go, why? And I'm like, what is wrong? Like, you've been acting weird these past couple weeks, and there's something that you're not telling me. And he kept denying it. No, there's not. No, there's not. And I finally had to pry it out of him. I was an idiot. Why did I Listen, ever so leave you? Listen, so I had to pry it out of him. I had a pride out of him, like, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? And then he finally sat there and he goes, I don't know how to tell you. And I go, tell me what? And he just, he just, like, literally stared in blank space for, like, I don't even know, God knows how long. And then he finally was like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. I think I need my space or whatever. And then he said that I started bawling. And I was bawling because he was the guy. He, I fell in love with him, like, literally the first six months. <laughs> so the fact that he broke up with me. Like shit. So the fact that he broke up with me hurt me so bad. And, like, I remember, like, just. I'm not laughing in a bad way. I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm. I'm actually like tearing up because like I feel so bad that I made you feel like that. Because I never. Are you actually too much? I never, I never <laughs> want to make you feel like that. So basically he goes. Oh my god. So basically he goes. <laughs> Excuse me. So basically he goes. I don't know. I just need time to think about this. So we walk upstairs and I was like, I was so like dumbfounded. And we go go, go upstairs. We walk outside. The only thing I remember is being on the porch. Crying. Yeah, being on the porch crying. He goes. I was. And crying he's like, too. I, he's like, I'm sorry. I, I need to have time to think. I don't know what's going on. I think you need to focus on school. You need to focus on me. And you know, if a guy tells you to focus on him, there's no way that's the only reason why. No way, Jose. So basically, he broke up with me. And I, I, no, I remember being on the porch and I was crying. I'm yeah, you were we crying. Were sitting on the porch. We were crying. I walked you out to your car. We were still crying. I remember. Kissing, and I go, how long? How long do you think this is gonna last? For? Like, how long do you need time to think? And he goes, give me till Friday. And that was like a whole whole week. I had to wait. And I was still trying and texting him and like trying to get a hold of him. And like he was obviously ignoring me and being a douche. And so while I was working, okay. and this is why I I'm bringing up the whole breakup thing in Mariano's because when I was at Mariano's. I heard from a bunch of coworkers what was really going on, and this is like I remember later, sitting right? down. Yeah, I remember sitting down and putting two and two together. So I never stopped liking you, like liking her. I always, I loved you. Like I, I knew I was in love with you. I didn't know why I was breaking up with you. Don't think I'm a bad guy. Mariah's explaining to it like I was just like an f boy, which I wasn't. No, I've I'm never just explaining the. I, I know, story. but I've never done anything like that before. And I felt so wrong doing it because I wanted to be with Mariah, but I just, like, my thoughts were so screwed up at the time that I just kind of ended it for no reason. And, yeah, so she did end up finding out, like, who this girl was. And, no, like, it wasn't talking. that through our friends. It, yes, was, it was it was okay, this is the thing. This is this is what's funny. So basically, he told me to kiss somebody, but he wouldn't tell me the girl's name cuz you knew if I found out the girl's name, I'd be mad because you lied to me okay. and told me it was your guy friend. So when I went to work and everybody was telling me things, she I figured out, out that work, the okay. Alyssa's girl name wasn't the guy's name and I looked her up on Instagram and I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, this is the freaking girl. So I called him up and I'm like, dude, like why would you do that and whatever. And we were working on our stuff. We were I was thinking about getting back together. I was too embarrassed to tell her that it was that girl. Yeah, well, yeah. I was very upset. And that was kind of the reason he broke up with me because he was confused. And obviously, and he was still in high school. And all of this stuff going on. Um, for a month, we were broken up for, yeah, for a, a month. Whole Every month. Friday, though, we would meet at Buffalo Wild Wings. That's why Buffalo Wild Wings like our signature place that we always go and eat at because Buffalo Wild Wings was always like our go-to yeah. place to eat. We would just hang out and talk everything through and, and see how... And I would how... fight for him, guys. I'd be sitting at yeah. the table and I'd be like, Babe, Bill, please... <laughs> Please come back to me, and I. He and I like, and I wanted to so bad. I was just being stupid. Like oh, I was he was like being idiot. rude. Like Bill was. I was like, not being rude. You have changed so much, I was not being guys. Rude. The Bill that he was I'm before. Right. No, I'm being honest with them. The Bill that he was. I'm being honest. Listen, with them. the not Bill, being rude to you. the Bill that he was before, and the the Bill that he is now is a totally different person. And it's like crazy to see how much you grew as a person. But like. You too. But You're, then. You were immature too back then. So we dig it back together. It um, was the night of his Halloween party, and yeah. he said he said um, that we'd get back together that night. Now spying the night or whatever. And I remember being sitting downstairs like one a.m. Like Bill, when are you gonna ask me out? Like I'm like. But the no, the funny thing is when I was like hanging out with the other girl, I invited her to the Halloween party. Yeah, she literally then, came to the Halloween party, and I'm like, bro. So this, both of them oh. were at the Halloween party together, and like. And oh, by the way. I just want to make sure, like, if the girl is watching this video or anyone that knows this girl, I want to make sure, like, I'm not throwing shade. Like, you're an awesome person. You're doing yourself. Yeah. You didn't do anything. I'm not trying to, like, throw shade at anyone. I'm just simply telling a story about what happened. 
about my life. Like, no, I just, I want to avoid that's why everything when it, be, when it comes to, I'm not talking crap about you, you are a good person. That's why I we just, used another yeah. girl's name, so we didn't um, use the gr yeah. actual girl's name. I just don't want you to think respect. that, like, a home, you know. Like, She's ta they're talking bad about me. Yeah. We respect Thank you. you. We, for... we did all of that. Yeah. Everything's fine. We're moved down from the situation. We're just explaining our story because yeah. people want, wanted to know. Yeah. And it's so, a story so time. So anyways, like, you know, they were there and then she left and then Mariah was there and then we did end up getting back together that night and... Um, Everything was still kind of shaky in the beginning though and then we started... Well, be because you were so on edge. Like, when something like this happens in people's lives, like, the other person gets so on edge and I totally regret doing that because, like, it made Mariah always like I was freaked worrying, out like, for the next minute. couple months, literally months, where she didn't know, like she didn't fully trust and, this, I, and I totally understand because who would fully trust someone after them just breaking your heart for another person? And I, I actually wouldn't. just showed Bill the other day. This is when I used to worry bad because I was so scared of leaving, leaving me again. again. Yeah. And I showed him all the messages that I saved in my notes, and I, I put in my notes, if you ever worry, come here and read this. <laughs> so and cute. it was all the messages. She wrote herself notes. It, I wrote myself notes of what he would text me and I took screenshots and I put them in my notes. So if anybody who is like an overthinker like who I am and needs like reassurance, this is a good tip for you guys. Go in your nose and just put, if you ever need to read this, read it and just put everything that you would, everything that you're feeling in the in the good moment, Probably just put it all in your nose so when you're feeling bad, you can go into what you were feeling when you were good yeah. and reread and reassure yourself. Just to make yourself go yeah. back in that mode and feel like, okay, it's okay. You know? Because going through breakups yeah. and going through hard times like that's very common. Breakups, so. deaths, um, yes. changes in life, moving, anything. It's the same thing. Like, so look at the good times and remember the good times, write them down. And always so you like, can look be back aware at of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Mariah, um, she obviously doesn't look at that stuff anymore. It's been what I, I, I saw it for the first time, like a couple months ago. Yeah, and I was like, I, I was going through my notes one day, and I'm like, Bill, is this? Hilarious? Yeah, I didn't even see it. We until were actually a couple months laughing ago, about it. I'm, I doubt cute. you've seen, you've used it in over two years. I have not thought one for one minute Bill was gonna leave yeah, me. Yeah, no. Like, like that we're was. We're obviously way better now. That made way us, better couple. That breakup made us grow as a couple and that it was two years ago well basically stronger. it will be three years ago it made us grow as a couple sometimes you have to separate from each other in order to come back together and realize that you guys were the ones for each other but not all relationships like, no I don't think not you have all to break relationships up and get back together but to be strong i just want to let I, you know i honestly wish that didn't happen to us, no me but, too you know, and i just want to let you guys know if you are going through a breakup and if your times do cross again like that means it's meant to be we so, worked through it we worked know? through it and we were meant to be if you could work through it then you meant to be he knew i was a guy i wanted to one day marry uh, you were the so. girl you were the girl that i want to marry not the guy anyways we are so much stronger look at us we're tough as a rock oh. Oh. i'm sorry oh. Oh. i'm sorry give me some noggin i'm sorry <laughs> don't you ever worry i know many of you guys are like please don't ever break up please don't ever break up me and bill are yeah. not going don't anywhere don't you ever worry about that we're here for life yeah. and we're gonna i'm worried about you you guys better stick with us. Like I yes. hope, I hope that all of you. I see you in the future. I see you when we go on vacation. I see you when we get married, have a baby. I hope I see you guys on Everywhere. our channel from now until forever. Forever. That was cute. That yes. was really cute. So that brings me to the um, next thing. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell button so you get notified. If you guys want us to do more story times, comment down below what type of story times you'd yeah. like to hear from we'll us. We'll definitely do a lot more if you guys want to hear from us. If you think they're fun. Um, ask us anything. Ask us the hardest time, the best time in our life, the weirdest thing that we've ever done. Like just random stories that we can tell and share with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we want to build our Marvel Squad stronger and we also want to do videos that you Enjoy. want us to do. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching and being here along with us. I hope you enjoyed and don't our you, breakup. And don't you ever worry about us breaking up. Yes, no, that was a weird. hard time no. in our life and that was two years ago and that it's never going to happen again. Yes. And yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next video. But until but then. Until then. Peace. Or you can even do a story time on literally like what makes a couple great. Like that'll be awesome. I was just thinking that I didn't want to go without saying that. Like, what? <laughs> you, can, you can make a story on that. You can do a story on anything. So. Yeah, you can. Love you guys. Love you guys. Peace, Peace out.